another broadcast with Gian. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gian. Thank you. Will my children be okay? That is a good question. Do you have kids and you, con you are concerned sometimes about what is going to happen to them because you see what kind of life do we have in these days? You remember your childhood and you know how things were. Much, much easier back then. And then you are thinking, all right, there are many situations going on in the world right now what is going to happen to these kids? You know, I don't want my kids to suffer. It's a common sentence from parents. I don't want my kids to suffer. Here's the bad news for you. It is impossible that your kids will not suffer because everyone in this world suffers. That includes you, includes me, includes everybody. That's an impossibility not to suffer in this world. There are many bad things, evil things, the reality of life, many things, accidents, illnesses, things out of control. Do you want to have a kid in a bubble that nobody will touch him and he will never get sick or never get hurt? What about the emotional pain? What about all the other complications in life like losing a job, being fired, losing a company? All kind of problems that we can have. Divorce, death of relatives, bullying in the school, bullying in the workplace, problems with the sports, beatings, betrayal. Well, but I don't want my kids to suffer. Well, you want to live in La La Land, and it's impossible. Your kids are going to suffer like everybody else. The thing is, we need to train them properly to face those kind of situations. But one thing that will affect your children and their future is what they are watching and listening. Now, are you paying attention to that? Oh, yeah. They just watch these uh, kids' shows. <laughs> Have you ever listened to those shows? Because let me tell you, there are some shows for kids that are pretty evil. Are you paying attention to that? Because you don't know the kids are in front of that TV or in front of that device for hours and hours and hours per day. And that is most of the time their main influence. Are you teaching good things to your kids? That's a very important question to ask. If you're concerned about your kids, are you teaching them good things? Or you are just saying, don't touch this, don't do that, don't watch this, don't, don't, don't. That's important, of course. But what about the do this, do that? This is the way to do this. Are you teaching good things to your kids? More importantly, do you practice good things? How about that? What kind of good things do you practice? Are you learning good things? Even more important, right? Because the leadership in your, in your life as a parent is going to affect the kids. You want your kids to do good, but you don't want to learn anything good. You don't want to practice what is good. You don't want to have a life doing what is right. Imagine if you do that, what kind of... Hope is for, for those kids that are just watching stuff all the time, learning from who knows what, cartoons made by people, by adults, that who knows what's in their minds, what kind of di dialogues they have, what kind of things are the kids learning. 
That's why you need to be the first one teaching to your kids. Some people, though, feel very, very disappointed, very frustrated because now the kids are not little ones. Now they are teenagers. Some of them, they are young adults, and, and uh, they just think it's, it's way too late. Are you giving up on your children? Are you? It's too late, you say. He is already involved in drugs. She is already a drunk. They already learned how to steal and lie and cheat, you know? It's horrible. Their sexual life is... I don't want to even describe it. Are you giving up on your children? Your, your children need somebody to believe in them, somebody to rescue them, somebody to guide them, to somebody to show them the path. Your children need that. You cannot give up on your children. But you know what? One thing that you need to learn is to navigate your conversations with them. So many parents, they are so into the, what they want them, the kids, to do that they don't know how to navigate the conversation. It is, with your children, you, you can't just go strictly business with them. Did you do your homework? Did you finish your chores in the house? Okay, go then. No, you have to navigate your conversations. Treat them as somehow as an adult. Connect with them. Listen to them. That is the way that you navigate the conversation. You have to be willing to listen, to pay attention, to change topic, navigate your conversations. You can guide your children better when you navigate that conversation with them. And you need to be intentional about having a good time together. You have no idea how important is that. Intentionally trying to have a good time when you are with your kids. There are kids that are very difficult. There are kids that they are lazy. Some others are disrespectful. You know, they, we know that. Kids can be tough. Well, you were a kid, remember? We were difficult, or you were not? Hmm. Well, I was. Most people that I know, they were difficult when they were little. They needed guidance. But you know what? Every time we as kids, when we were kids, and all kids, they find somebody that they have a good time together, they have fun together, you know, that, that person makes an influence in our lives. And that should be you with your children. Be intentional having a good time with your kids. Do your best to have that good time with your kids. It's, it's, it's going to be beautiful when you can see that. You show them optimism no matter what. Even if the, if the kid fails in a school, he didn't pass this year. He, he failed with the assignments in the house. He failed doing this and failed doing that. Well, so what? That's life. Have you not failed in life in any area ever? Everyone fails. We all make mistakes. Well, kids are no different. But you need to be optimistic and tell them, you know what? We can do these things together. And that is your job. Your job is to keep the optimism in your home. Then your kids will be fine. You navigate the conversations with them. You intentionally have a good time with them, even when they are giving you trouble. You have to be optimistic. Some people find trouble trying to be optimistic. I found in one quote something that is beautiful. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. What a beautiful quote. Being grateful for life, knowing that the good Lord God is giving us another opportunity to be optimistic, to be cheerful, to inspire our kids, 
I have found that in God, and I hope you will find this kind of joy. Thank you for watching another broadcast with Gian. The schedule of this program, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check the website mygiancarlo.com for more videos. We hope to see you soon.